Baby. Where's the baby? Outside. <gasps> the baby's outside. Oh my, Hang our on. little chicken's outside. Hang on. He... Should I get over here? No, stay right there because I'm going to walk He's going to walk yeah, right into the... <laughs> Why don't you put him in with the Sokies? Or can we put him in with here? I got her poor head all packed up. Why don't we put her in that little pen inside? The hot, in the inside, you know the one I'm talking about? Where Zorro used to live? Aww. He'll squeeze out of that. Where Zorro used to live? The, the... Groucho. Groucho. Why don't we stick her in there? I'd have put her in the brooder, but the other chickens are in there. You know what? I have another cage over on the other side. Why don't we put her in there? That's a big cage here. Yeah, why don't we stick her in there? It's not yeah. really big enough, but... She'll go in there for a little bit. Oh, poor little chicken. These are mean. No wonder she's running away. Well, she's going to... That must be the mother. Is she picking on her baby, too? Yeah. Aw. Well, we're going to have to take care of her by herself. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do it. Just feed her and water her in there. Try to put her in the quail. You know what? Put her in the empty quail with the quail. Like, put her in with the quail. Come on, little girl. Until you get some size to you. I don't think you'll pick on the quail. You're... If Sally's so happy, poor thing. You guys are mean. Alright, you're staying there with the quail. Come on, you get your eggs out of here. Or they for a chicken smash. Okay, so now she lives with the quail. So, see what can happen? Well, yeah, that's what, uh, she kept trying to get through the wire and they were pecking her head before she got all, all the way through, so. Poor little thing. She'll heal. She'll though. heal quick. They just did that to her too, yeah, didn't they? they just did that to her today. Aww. Boy, they got her good. I think she's more afraid of us than she is. Well, she is. She's scared because she's not used to, she don't know what's happening to her. Okay, well, we'll make sure she's taken care of. Okay, well, we're going to do a Vita today. And uh, the Vita is how to save money on your electricity. Now, we were just talking about, what are those strips called? Power strips that work? No, they're a, it's not a power strip. It's a uh, switch that uh, runs, it has an electric eye. Mm -hmm. And it turns your, your lights on when you walk in the room. And they probably saw them in different department store bathrooms and things like that. You walk in the room, it has an electric photo eye that picks up your, uh, a person walking in the room and the lights come on. Oh, and cool. then after a few minutes of no one moving, no movement, you could be in the room and if you don't move for a pretty near five, ten minutes, the light will go back out. Well, with winter's not that far off, believe it or not, because... And those are great oh. for if you're going to go into the bathroom and just use the bathroom and then go back out without having to hit the switch on and off. Especially if you have children. Children don't like to turn the lights off behind them. And it'll save your electric bill quite a bit. You can get them for your home? I imagine so. They can get them for industrial use. I just saw something that said a smart power strap. Have you ever heard of that before? A power strip is what uh, you plug your appliances in for a breaker. So. Well, uh, well, they have what they call vampire uh, power, vampire, po vampire power that takes out your electricity. That that, that uses electricity. Uses electricity. So that's any kind of charge or anything, you leave a charger plugged in without it 
going to anything like your uh, phone or anything, and it draws power. I gotta get some feed for these guys. Okay. Come on, girls, you gotta move in the door. Come on. She's already living there with them. They probably happy to have a friend. But you probably could get those. Uh, those saving power switches right at uh, some place like HEP Supply or maybe even Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm sure they have something like that. that because all the air is where the light switch normally is, it has a photo eye. And when someone comes in the room, they just like wave your hand over it and the lights come on. And then after five, ten minutes, they go out. Until the next person comes in. Gets in front of the eye. Because the best thing too to do is to take and all your electric, what you want to do is you want to put everything on power strips. And when you're not using it, you need to turn them off. Like your coffee pot, right? Mm -hmm. What's the advantages of the power strip, by the way? I'm curious. Saves money. Okay, but why would the power strip compare to a regular light switch or something? Well, pull that cord. See how your light came on? Yeah. How's that light gonna go out? If I pull the cord. All right, with a with a photo eye on your light switch, the photo eye sees you, turns the light on, and after a few minutes of it not detecting any movement in the room, the light goes out no, automatically. No, but I'm saying if regular power strips, why are they better than uh, turning on and off the lights? Well, they're not better than turning on and off the lights. They're, what they are is you, you plug all your appliances into it coffee pots in it and if you get a surge instead of popping the breaker in your breaker box it kicks that power strip out but I'm saying okay say if somebody doesn't want to get these electric power things okay then you put a regular light switch in okay no what I'm saying is say your all your electric to keep your vampire electric going out done you need to unplug everything that you're not using okay so you unplug everything you're not using when you're not using it right yeah. because you don't, leave, you don't leave things plugged in like uh phone chargers and things like that because but what about they do draw power what about your televisions you and in. computers and all that televisions will too they draw power yeah well, just sitting there right just being plugged in yep so you unplug if you unplug, if you go about unplugging things, it's, uh, it will save you electric. Okay, so if I'm trying to keep my electric bill, when I'm not using anything, my coffee pot and everything, just completely unplug it. You don't have to unplug it. That's what the power strip's for. Okay. You, you hit the switch on a power switch or power strip and it shuts the power off to everything. Okay, so if I put in my coffee pot, my toaster, my all, microwave. All on a power strip. Okay. If you put them on a power strip, they will, uh... You have less switches to turn off. You only t hit one switch and they're all plugged into it. And if there's a surge, power surge, instead of it popping your breaker, turning your breaker off in the breaker box, it'll shut it off to that first. Okay. And it won't cause pro or damage to your breaker box. Okay. Now, I did hear about a smart power strip. That like your I wouldn't know what a, a smart power strip does any more than a regular power strip. Only the smart power strip probably once it cools down, it might turn back on. I well, know. I think that it kind of has the same kind of thing. Like if you're not using it, it just turns it off, kind of thing. I think. But does anybody have any of this stuff? I'm curious to see what your thing is. I think the main thing here is an egg down there, dude. Just to start to you know, unplug everything, you know? Well, if that's why you put them on a power strip. <laughs> so that will start saving your electric. And you will see a difference if you do it all the time. You know, along with that thing about... The computer and everything else should be on a power strip. Yeah. Got a guinea egg. And I can tell it's a guinea egg because the bottom is more like a point. But I mean, what other ways can I save on my electric? Just, Just turn keep things off behind you. Turn things off behind me? Yep. 
Mainly just keeping everything turned off and we're not using it. That's the trick of it all. How much do you think you'll save in a month doing that? I have no idea. I'm not I've heard other people say that they that they've seen a significant change. Also, too, keeping lower temperatures in the winter, as long as everybody's warm. Don't pack my eggs, girls. I mean, if people aren't war warm, it's self-defeating. That's a pretty good sized egg right there. Let's see, next to the guinea egg. Not bad, oh, girls. The size. These couple eggs are smaller. So that's how you save on your electric. Just get rid of all that vampire electric that's sucking it out of yep. your house. And, uh... Just unplug things and you're not using them. That'll save you a lot on electric. And turn off lights behind you. Oh, and another thing, too. Um, electric companies charge more during the day than at night. So if you're going through the high power usage when everybody else is using your electric, you are getting charged more. But if you run your dryer and your washing machine and everything in the middle of the night, right? Well, the, the electric company throws out fallacies all the time to people. They'll tell you that leaving a light on is cheaper than turning it on and off several times a day. Can't believe that. Because if you're leaving the power on, it's using it. If you've got the light off, it's not using anything. Well, so th they tell you that so you leave all your lights on and have a higher bill. If, they want, if, they hit, if the electric company told you to turn lights off and you're not using them, they're not making money. Also, too, Saving Star helps, too, using, water. having use, um, appliances and stuff that have that savings, um, oh, don't you know, that savings on them, because if, you know, o an old refrigerator can really suck the power or freezer, you know, from your house, whereas something that's made a little bit more economically, you know, that'll keep you better off. So when you go to purchase things, you know, keep that in mind. You know, and, and be creative. Start, you know, sit down and discuss and look around your house and see things that maybe, you know, you need to turn off that you're not even thinking about. I mean, obviously, there's some things that you should have on for a variety of reasons, and then there are things that you shouldn't, you know. So, but just being aware, because you might have things on all the time that you haven't even thought about. The rose among the thorns, blew the rooster, and some of these other roosters are pretty big compared to you. Like, look at him. Woo! You. These are silky roosters for you that are new to our channel. This guy's real fat. And uh, that's a splash, and these guys are white. And we're actually thinning our herd, herd flock here. For the winter. So, if just a bonus, I guess, if you're a backyard farmer, um, when you approach the winter months, you know you want to get like a skeleton crew of your breeders and animals that, for some reason, you're keeping, because obviously. <laughs> You have to feed all the critters, and if they're not producing or have a reason for them, they shouldn't really be on your farm. But especially in the winter, because it costs more to heat everybody and take care of everybody. Not necessarily heat, because you don't have heat in the barn, but just the extra work that you'll have to do. So it's always good to get to, like, a lot of these guys are going to be sold or auctioned just because we, you know, we don't have the need for as many silkies as we thought we might earlier in the year. So we enjoyed them for the summer. They'll be great laying eggs for someone that has not, that, you know, they won't have to put the work and feed into them because we did it for them. So they'll get a good buy. So we'll see what happens. And we, these, all these are going to be sold in the next auction. or sold on Craigslist or 
from farmers that we know. And believe it, there are always people that are looking for chickens. At least where we are at. But as it gets closer to school starting, too, a lot of people have their minds on other things, so they're not always thinking about farming. So there's different times of the year that things get a little crazy, and right now everyone's thinking school. But if we don't sell what we need, we will eat them, maybe. Okay, this guy's getting a little cranky. And the reason that we're not always out worried about eating the chickens is just like we went to our store today, they had a flyer, I don't know what it is, 70, 80 cents a pound for chicken, so it's not even worth feet, you know, doing all the work for that. You can't even buy it for that. So I have to see what the price is, but that's why for us sometimes it's not worth it. It's like that with the gardening too in our area. Sometimes it's not worth growing stuff because there's so many things that we can get at the auction. If you saw our previous video for pennies, like a dollar sixty for a whole box of zucchini, a half a bushel, you know. So no, I, I'm not sure how much that was. I think it was a half a bushel. I have to look and see. But a lot of zucchini for pennies. It just seems crazy to, you know, you can't even buy a thing of seeds for that. But it depends on how big your family is and what you're up to and what you're doing. Hello there, chickies. You guys are turning into big boys and girls now. Some of you guys aren't being nice, though. You're saying like you're picking people to get your way. See, now these have really come out to see who's the boys and the girls. You can see, you know, can you spot some of the roosters and hens in here? The roosters are bigger. Uh, we heard a couple crowing. I, I didn't hear them. I think they heard them crow. So, hands are a little bit smaller. Rooster has a little bit, if you know, if you see, watch chickens all the time. They have a little bit of a different kind of a stand. A hen will lay a little bit more flat. Right. Fresh water. Here he comes. Somebody better fill their water jug up, too. Hello, babies. Yeah, we're getting ready to clean out the barn, too, before winter. Yeah, there's... It's a little crazy year. We have my mom, it's 84, that we have. We have my son that moved out this year. We had some family events and that. Sometimes, you know, Clay only has so many weekends, and I have only so many things I can do by myself, too. So, but... You just go with the flow. Every year is a little different. But every year in farming, you learn a little bit more too. And you know, this is why we like to do these videos too. We like to mentor, um, you know, we like to share, to share our lives, what it's like to live in the USA, what it's like to live on a farm, but we also like to mentor those that are farming to learn what it's like to really, every day, the things that really do happen on a backyard farm. So that, you know, you're in the know and you're not making mistakes. Or somebody, you know, and there's a lot of things that can go down. Even in the farming community, there's people that will say, oh yeah, that's a hen and it's a rooster, you know. Or you'll go to an auction and you're thinking you're buying one kind of chicken and it's something else. and or you think that chicken's not healthy because it has no feathers on its back when really that's a good egg layer, you know. And then also to the pricing, we might say, we tell you, you know, hey, it's really, it sounds great, but it's not worth it to, to you know, butcher your chickens if you can get it cheap, you know, somewhere else. And believe it, the grocery store, 
their food is good and their meat and everything is good. There are so many inspectors that go through, you know. Backyard farmers do care a lot about their, their product, but they do do a lot of stuff in the factories to ensure that your food is safe. There we go, girls. There's some fresh stuff. Let's look at some of these roosters, Clay. They're just huge. Yeah, they are getting big. Sure, they are. And we do have a lot more roosters and we do hens in do here. Do we? I was wondering about that. Well, there's, uh, I thought half. it was like a mix. Maybe half and half. Yeah, but I don't know. You can spot well, them better than me. We saved uh, five of them out there, so. You can spot them better than me, though. Yeah, there's a hen coming in the door. Yeah, I, was, I saw somebody in here that I wanted to show to you. She looked pretty good. I thought maybe you want to save her. What, Get a nice her? puff. Somebody had a nice, really nice and puff. We had a couple of them out there to get really nice. But if I this one, I think. Is that a hen? See this one yeah. again? Yeah, that's a hen. We should take her and throw her in the other one. She's pretty nice looking here. Can Another one right there with a nice puff. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We've got enough. Okay. We're not, we're not saving 15 eggs. <laughs> They're going. Okay. Well, somebody else might like a nice puff too. Nice puppy hat. And if we, can, we don't sell them, we'll sell them at the auction. That's what I thought, too. All right, did you get your eggs out of here? I, you know, where is the egg basket? It's out there? It must yeah. be. Yeah, two, two hens here in this. Yeah, these guys are hens, man. This is the funniest group of hens. They all want to set all the time, which is bad for egg laying, let me tell you. Because thank goodness there's only two of us. And I'm not baking. Oh, let's check on you. My feet feel funny. They got grass in my shoe. Okay, let's see what you're up to. I haven't looked at you today. Clay did, but I haven't. Nope, I guess he didn't look at you. You need to get some food. You look like you're ready to get more food. How are you? She needs something to eat. Yeah, yeah, he's still working on it. Oh, I know, honey. Okay, so what, how do you do that? You submerge them up to their neck in water and hold them there for about two minutes. Really? Does it work? It's supposed to. This is the broodiest bunch I've ever seen. In the past, I, I always had enough hens that covered for the other hens that weren't laying. So. I don't think we really have to do that. Got two hens that aren't laying. Up to you. I don't know. We'll see. Will they let you submerge them in water? What's that? Will they let you submerge them in water? Yeah. You just have to hold them by the wings and just get a bucket of water and just, it's got to be warm water, and just put them down to their neck in, in water and just hold them there. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to stop them from being bruised. Huh, I never heard of that. So tomorrow, we'll go in the barn and whoever's we'll busy, we'll just take them and bring them right out. Well, they're always in that water. <laughs> yeah, but they are up to their neck in it. Yeah, that's true. They keep walking in the water just so they like to stay cool. Whoa, I guess I put too much in there, didn't I? Not you'll eat it. No, I guess I didn't. I'm almost grabbed it. Some more. Been so good. If it wasn't so late in the evening, we'd do it right now. But it's too cold, yeah. We have to wait till it's warmer. Yeah, wait till it's not that cold, but still, I wouldn't yeah, want them. You don't, you don't I want so them to be able to get warmed up. You don't want them so that they're wet during the night. Silkies are looking good. They're oh, nice yeah. and clean. Yep, these guys all look happy today. They're having a good day. 
Hello, little birdies. Hello. Look at them over there. They only have nice puffball heads, except for Prunella. And yeah, they one's do. One's got kind of a spike. But. Well, that's why I thought of it. She has more of a spike than a puff. And yeah. so do the other one. But that doesn't matter. Definitely. We like them all. A little okay. bit of this. And this. We're not showing them. Yeah, there's not going to be it no... We don't do no poultry showing. Yeah, we don't do poultry showing, so. And there's little Prinelli. Yeah, the only other ones you see is the, on the videos and anybody that stops by. I wondered where our little hen was because she was living with the dog and I guess she moved out. <laughs> well, she probably slipped through the fence and found she could run around out here. But see how they, they do? They run around the outside. But these hens have been pretty mean to her, so... She probably like living with the dog rather than them, but she doesn't. I don't like it. I don't like her living with the dog, cause uh, you know he's a dog. See if there's any tomatoes <laughs> that need to be brought in. Before they go getting eaten by bugs. You want that? Once they start eating them, they don't end. Oh, that's got blossom end. Ooh, ooh. That's the first one I saw. I well, there goes the chickies. And for you that are new to our channel, my dog is really old. Well, and he's going to be 14 this November. And he's had other chickens that have moved in there. Not necessarily our that chickens. Chicken would have been better off staying with the dog. That's what I said, because he won't harm them, but still. Well, other chickens do because the chickens are mean. Because the pet, yeah, they're trying to tell him he's the low, low life. Low guy in the totem pole. And he's not going to get. He wasn't smart enough to stay away from him. He kept wanting to go back in there. So. Well, he found he could run in and out of the okay, fence. This one's got a rotten spot. Okay. We can take that over to the to the, to the chicken. We can give them to the silkies on the other fence or throw them I don't to these think guys. They, I don't think they'll know what to do with it. Yeah, they. They're all young birds. Well, they got so much grass over there. Should have picked this two days ago, I think. Girl, oh, they like that. See, that old rooster's happy. He draws the hens over to him. See him? He's telling them. There's a, there's a, he's telling them all. There go. I'll come. But I do save my scraps when I'm in there dehydrating. They get lots of veggies. We'll rake up some of this grass and give that to them, too. I was going to do that this afternoon, but I mowed most of the day. Well, you didn't look good last night. We went to see... I haven't felt good in the past three Yeah, days. You, well, when we went to see your brother last night, you looked actually green. Your face looked green. You know how you don't feel good? Well, that was because I was mad like the Incredible <laughs> Hulk. <laughs> no, you did. You looked like you were actually green. Like... This one's got a little green on it, so maybe it's... So you probably have a little virus. It's, my stomach's been bothering me lately, so. Might be too much acid from the tomatoes, I don't know. So we went to visit Clay's brother yesterday, and he was showing us his I fermented... Him, I gave him some uh, Oops. jalapeno. Fooled you jalapenos that aren't hot. And to prove that they're not hot. <laughs> and he did that, and he, they have... um. Their place really is really nice, and he has a uh, couple senior citizens living there with him and his wife. And he was fooling one of them, showing them how he was eating uh, <laughs> jalapeno pepper. How, a jalapeno pepper. But he has like a great big house, and he showed us to his fermented uh, dill pickles. And they were good. I thought they were good, but I'm a little leery on fermenting because. I don't know if I could do it as well, <laughs> but I dehydrating and canning work easier for me. But sometime we'll ferment some. I have never, I haven't done. I, we did it a little bit one year. We tried it. Play. I think you've done it before, though, haven't you? Yeah, but okay. I didn't have the time to mess with it. You yeah. Have to be right on top of it all the time. Yeah, if you're not on top of it, you can have issues. If you were retired and had time to do it every day, you, you could do it. Because you have to let the gas out and yeah, different open things. Open the lids and yeah. So carbon dioxide so guys uh 
like, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. And bye bye. God bless. Hey, your your tomatoes meant your shirt. Yeah. I gotta put down my uh, eggs so I can turn off the camera, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Hummingbird. Where? Oh, they've been coming all day.